Hello my fellow hunters, welcome to my new weapon showcase video. Some of you have asked me if I could showcase my builds for my Switch Axes in Title Update 6 on the PS5 version, which added all the remaining monsters including Amatsu and Primordial Malzano. Well, in this video I will be showcasing 8 new sets but are my end game builds for taking on level 300 afflicted monsters and level 300 risen elder dragons. So let's begin and dive into my first switch axe set. For my raw switch axe, I use the Vengeful Felclave, which is the best blast option in Sunbreak. The augments I use for the switch axe is attack boost level 3 and also the rampage slot upgrade. This switch axe needs the rampage slot upgrade to use file switch boost, a rampage skill that boosts files when switching between axe mode and sword mode and it is required for every switch axe. The wirebug skills I use for my endgame sets are as follows. Forward overhead slash which advances you towards a monster. Finishing discharge. Two staged morph slash combo. Soaring wyvern blade. And the elemental burst counter. For two stage morph slash combo and the elemental burst counter are two of the most important skills since they help you fill up the fire gauge much quicker. The elemental burst counter can parry any attack and is your strongest skill for switch axe. The armor set I use is as follows. Risen, Kaiser Horns, Tempest Robe, Tempest Sleeves, Virtue Coil, Tempest Hakama, and the charm I use is Build Up Boost 2 as Attack 3 with a 2 level 3 slots and a level 1 slot. The augments and skills I added to the set are as follows a level 4 slot and a level 1 slot on the headpiece. I added one male hellfire on the chest piece. I also added another level male hellfire with a level 2 slot on the arms. I also added one build up boost on the coil and then added the final level of male hellfire on the legs. So the key skills that is needed for the set are as follows. Crit I 6, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Rapid Morph 3, Mail of Hellfire 3, Burst 3, Build Up Boost 3, Heaven Sent 3, Handicraft 2, Evade Extender 2, Teostra Blessing 2, Blood Right 2, Coalescence 2, Intraped Heart 2, Blunt Lost 1, Powder Mantle is just a bonus. The most important skills for the set is Intraped Heart 2, which is a skill that can negate damage from any attack once the meter is filled up by landing attacks, and it's a must have skill for taking on level 300s. The second important skill is Heaven Sent which is a must have for most weapons. When it is active you don't lose sharpness or stamina 
as long as you stay close to the monster. With Heaven Scent, you don't need to run protective polish or speed sharpening anymore since you can perform a skill swap to get your sharpness back. The final important skill you will need is Mail of Hellfire. A skill that works really well with Heaven Scent. Mail of Hellfire gives you an attack buff when you're using Red Scroll but it lowers your defense. You also gain elemental buff when using the blue scroll but it also lowers your elemental defense. Since we are skill swapping from heaven sent we will be switching scrolls quite often and this switch axe will benefit most from the red scroll buff. This set can hit 100% affinity when you recover from bloodlust which is important because all your axe and sword moves do critical damage. However, files don't crit, but with switch axe it's not a big deal. So this is my setup for the blast switch axe. And let's move on onto the next set. For my Blood Switch Axe set, I still use the Vengeful Felclave, but this set uses 3 pieces of Primordial Malzano instead of 3 pieces of Matsu. The armor set is as follows. Risen Kaiser Horns, Primordial Mail, Primordial Van Braces, a new Virtue Coil, Primordial Greaves, and the charm I use is Build Up Boost 2 as Attack 3 with a 2 level 3 slots and a level 1 slot. The key skills that are needed for this set are as follows Crit Eye 6, Attack Boost 4. Critical Boost 3, Witness Exploit 3, Protective Polish 3, Speed Sharpening 3, Rapid Morph 3, Mail of Hellfire 3, Burst 3, Build Up Boost 3, Blood Awakening 3, Handicraft 2, Evade Extender 2, Blood Rite 2, Intrepid Hot 2, Bloodlust 1 Part Breaker and Powder Mantle are just bonuses from the armor. The augments are the same as the previous set and the only difference is the Virtual Coil has Mail of Hellfire with a level 1 slot and I added Build Up Boost on the legs. Since we are using Blood Awakening, we have to use Protective Polish and Speed Sharpening since Switch Axes uses up a lot of sharpness and we can prolong the purple sharpness for a long time. And it is required for this build. I also use Free of Mail Hellfire since we get a big attack buff from using the Red Scroll. And this Switch Axe will be using the Red Scroll 100% of the time during the hunt. The final skill is a Blood Awakening. A new skill that increases your damage when you get a health back from Blood Blight and also when you hit break monster parts. Blood Awakening is really strong on afflicted monsters since you will be blighted quite often. And it is also really strong for raw builds. The only thing is Blood Awakening isn't very good against Elder Dragons 
since you don't get blood blighted at all and will only get the attack buff when you break a body part on an elder which isn't really worth it. This set can also reach 100% affinity after recovering from bloodlust and this build is really strong on afflicted monsters and I recommend on giving it a try but it will require a lot of material to make the primordial pieces. So this is my blood switch axe setup and let's move on onto the next set. Safe with me, Lady Yamoki. Now and forevermore. The Amatsu Switch Axe is the strongest water power file Switch Axe in Sunbreak but it has negative 25 affinity. So the setup for this Switch Axe is different from the other sets. The augments for this Switch Axe is attack boost level 4 and level 2 elemental boost. This Switch Axe already has a level 3 Rampage slot, which is a bonus. The armor set is the exact same for each set, but for the Master Switch Axe, I use a different charm. The augments I have on the armor for the set is Critical Boost on the Coil, and have Mail of Hellfire with Elemental Exploit on the legs. The skills required for the set are as follows. Crit Eye 5, Water Attack 5, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Maximum Might 3, Rapid Morph 3, Mail of Hellfire 3, Element Exploit 3, Burst 3, Heaven Sent 3, Event Extender 2, Blood Right 2, Intraped Hot 2, Koshula Blessing 1, Blood Lost 1. And the charm I use is Rapid Morph 3, Blood Right with 2 level 3 slots. The newest skill I use for the Switch Axe is Maximum Might. Since this Switch Axe has negative 25 affinity, I had to give it skills that increase its affinity. With Maximum Might, it gives us 30% more affinity when it is active. And since we won't be losing stamina when Heaven Sent is active, Maximum Might becomes a very useful skill. This Switch Axe also benefits from using Mail of Hellfire, since this Switch Axe has a high Roar and Element. So it will benefit from the Red Scroll buff and it's also good for water matchups so it will also benefit from the Blue Scroll Elemental buff. This Switch Axe can hit 100% affinity when Maximum Might is active and after you recover from Bloodlust. This Switch Axe also has a built-in Silk Bind boost which boosts your wide bug attacks such as your elemental burst counter. 
I am missing one level 1 of Cushion of Blessing due to not having many level 1 slots and I need to get a new charm for the set. So this set requires a good charm to work. This is my setup for the Amatsu Switch Tracks and let's move on to the next set. For the Ice Switch Axe, for Karnas is the strongest Ice Power Fire Switch Axe but Lagombi's Switch Axe is the strongest Elemental Fire Switch Axe. The Augments for the Volcano Switch Axe is Attack Boost Level 4 and Level 2 Elemental Boost. It also has a Level 3 Rampage slot for Fire Switch Boost which is required. The armor set is the exact same as the Amatsu set, but the main skills for the Volcano Switch Axe is as follows. Crit Eye 6, Ice Attack 5, Attack Boost 4, Critical Boost 3, Weakness Exploit 3, Rapid Morph 3, Mail of Hellfire 3, Element Exploit 3, Burst 3, Heaven Sent 3, Handicraft 2, Evade Extender 2, Kushala Blessing 2, Blood Rite 2, Intrapet Heart 2, Critical Element 1, Blood Lost 1. This setup is my go to for most of my elemental sets, but since with the Ice Switch Axe, you have two options Falcana for more raw damage, or Lagombi Switch Axe for more elemental damage. The augments for Lagombi Switch Axe is Attack Boost Level 1 and Level 8 Elemental Boost. You can use this template for both of these Switch Axes since they are quite easy to build around, and I use both on monsters that are weak to ice such as Espinus, Diablos, Lucent Nagakuga, Rajang, Zenoga, Risen Teostra, and False Strax. So this is my go-to ice setup and let's move on onto the next set. For Water Element Switch Axe, I use the Void Bringer Axe. Omegron has the best water weapons in the game, so it's a no brainer. The augments are the same for each of my Elemental File Switch Axes, which is Attack Boost Level 1 and Level 8 Elemental Boost. And they all have a Level 3 Rampage slot, which is a bonus. All the armor sets are the exact same but for water, thunder, fire and dragon. I use level 2 handicraft because they still need it to have a decent bar of purple sharpness. And you want as much purple sharpness as possible since we are using heaven scent. And since all my elemental sets are running male of hellfire, we will mainly be using blue scroll for the elemental buff. The Voidbringer is the strongest water element switch axe in Sunbreak and the monsters I use it on are as follows. Flaming Espinus, 
Silver Raffalos, Anjanath, and Scorned Magnamalo. The Voidbringer is one of the best weapons in the game, and it is a must have if you decide to pick up a Metal Switch Axe. This is my setup for the Water Element File Switch Axe, and let's move on to the next set. The switch axe I use for fire is Magma Omidron's Volcanic Switch, the strongest fire switch axe in the game, just like Omidron's water weapons. This switch axe has the same augments as the water switch axe, which is level 1 attack and level 8 elemental boost. And it also has a level 3 rampage slot which is needed. This set is the same as the previous set but this switch axe needs handicraft 2 to have a decent bar of purple sharpness. And also needs Teostra Blessing to increase its fire damage. Magma Omidron has the strongest fire weapons in Sunbreak. And the monsters I use it on are as follows Gas Harag, Luna Garin, Risen Camellios, Barioth, and Gormagala. So, this is my setup for the fire switch axe. And let's move on to the next set. The Thunder Switch Axe I now use for this update is Kezu's Full Mark Plus. The Kezu Switch Axe is now the best Thunder Switch Axe since it has higher attack than Nawa's. But it also has a level 3 Rampage slot, so you don't need to augment the upgrade slot onto it unlike the Nawa Switch Axe. The augments for the Kezu Switch Axe is attack boost level 1 and level 8 elemental boost. The Kezu Switch Axe outperforms Narva Switch Axe mostly due to this increased attack and slots. The armor set and skills are the exact same as the previous weapons. This Switch Axe also needs Handicraft 2 to have a decent bar of purple sharpness. The Full Mark Plus is now the best Thunder Switch Axe in Sunbreak, so it's really strong for Thunder matchups. The monsters I use it on are as follows Damio Hermitor, Shogun Senator, Puke Puke, Goran Golem, Naga Kuga, Seregios, and Tigrex. So this is my setup for the Thunder Switch Axe and let's move on to the final set. For Dragon Switch Axe, I use the Calamitous Axe, the strongest Dragon Switch Axe in Sunbreak. This Switch Axe comes from the Death Stakes tree, so you will need Death Stakes material to unlock it. The augments are the same as the previous weapons, level 1 attack and level 8 elemental boost. This switch axe comes with a level 3 rampage slot which is a bonus. The armor set and skills are the same as the other sets but this switch axe needs handicraft 2 
to have a decent bar of purple sharpness. When it comes to dragon matchups, there isn't a lot of monsters that are weak to dragon. So the only monsters you can use it on properly is Raffian, Raffalos, Chaotic Gore, Shigaru Magala, Lucent Naga Kuga, Thunder Serpent Nawa, Wind Serpent Ibushi, and Primordial Malzano. This is my setup for Dragon. Next, I'm going to show you the basic combos for Switch Axe if you decide to get Sunbreak or try out for the first time. So when it comes to Switch Axe, it's got a unique moveset and also a lot of skills. Some of these skills are a lot behind certain quests, but you have to complete these quests to get these Wirebug skills, such as the second stage morph, along with the elemental burst counter. The second stage morph and the elemental counter can get you amped up in the hunt real quickly and thanks to its second stage morph you can keep on reamping your switch axe which is really good third with heaven scent you can keep yourself amped and at max sharpness for a long time as for the elemental counter it is a hit or miss kind of skill because for you to get the power off correctly you have to press the trigger at the right time when a monster's attack is about to land or when a monster is about to roar. Sometimes it can mess up if the monster misses you or if you miss time the roar where you will waste two wire bugs while using this skill. And then if you get pinned or get sent flying you won't be able to recover with wire fall. So you have to be very careful when using the burst counter. But on some monsters it's easy to pull off, but on some monsters it can be difficult. So if you want to try out Switch Axe, I recommend on testing it in the training area on the dummy. Because it can be a hard weapon to learn at first, but honestly it's really easy to pick up. And the only thing you have to learn is the perfect timings for the burst counter. Other than that, the switch track is very easy to use. So these are the 8 sets I have made for the end game of update 6 which is level 300 afflicted monsters and level 300 elder dragons. You can copy these sets if you want but these are my end game sets and yours can be much different and it's up to you guys on what sets you want to build. Since I'm only a couple levels away from 300, I have some more solo runs in the works, from level 275 to 290. 
And since Sunbreak has reached the end of its life cycle, I am going to be making preparations for other games such as Resident Evil content and also I'll be showcasing level 300 afflicted monsters once I get the right investigations. So I hope you guys found this video entertaining and also informative. If you've got any questions just drop a comment and also like and share if you like the video. So I'll catch you guys at the next video. Thank you all for watching and of course Happy hunting!